okay so next we have it filters and the filters they're different they're not generating or creating any new they perform modifications on a the signal they're receiving so by creating first default world you'll notice right here we have a terrace and what terrace does if you can see in the preview it's a normal perlin and it's add terraces so it is modify the signal it's coming it's a filtering readjusting and here's the default properties on this so first you'll notice we have a different type of the terrace simple very flat almost cartoonish look sharp and smooth with just little adjustments so they're not straightforward down they have a little bit angle um, between each plateau we can specify number of tears you have it okay shape and layering in some cases you can see with the um, terrace shape and layering so if we can go down right here is almost no terrace at all produced so just slightly um, you can still see them but again you can reduce shapes between so right here is no shape at all and we can go between sharp smooth styles and control a little bit smaller or a little bit sharper way so again with this shape one thing I want to point it is point on both and no on the middle so kind of readjusting this way instead most of them will go from the one and increasingly going up okay layering it's a different ways of the layer will apply between terrains okay, again and let's look for example sharp pop up so we can see and you can see like right here step between turn how the affecting just slightly layering okay the other things about terrace also notice you can create those uh, mountains with the slides however the terrace and overall world machine it's creating only actually in two dimensions so what is meaning by the point it is you won't have any overhanging cliffs so the top plateau or terrain will never go over bottom one it's always go from highest to lowest from peak up so you don't have this overhang overlapping or some other like caves so this is kind of limitation and you need um work with this so when terrains you're creating you need to understand this is will go terrains just only to diminish not to increasing okay next let's go ahead uh we have the clam so let's look on a clam and this is provide our values that we can restrict in specific areas so for example okay, let's go connect to our view and you can notice right here i'm start, starting affecting my um, input so i'm normalizing and normalizing will just help those values work a little bit um, more smoother so in this case with the normalization it's properly stretching those between zero and one so it's kind of applied correctly and we have a different time we have a clam hut which is um, perform scaling kind of on the terrains we have a clip that you can see it's harder to clip and just cut off values at all bring all those values to whatever we specify top or height okay we have an expand as well so it's take those values and bring them up high so it doesn't bring down just increasing okay in some cases it's nice to create some plateau looking okay we also have it find extends which is um, by pressing it will be automatically um, evaluating the current terrain and uh, set the high range minimum and maximum values that exist in this so you can see for example if I go right here and extend so it will set those values for us and of course let's uncheck and normalize so you can see we have two values find extends and I will take lowest and height point there I go we have the lowest points created extend to the lowest 
and extend to the highs and stretch all values between these two points for our terrain. Okay, so next we have it simple transformation. So let's go ahead and connect to this one. Okay, and again we have it right here the basic presets, the canyon type, can LSI type effect. And this is think about this more as a curves, predefined curves type. And we'll just apply those different type of the curves string of those curves directly to our um, effect. So we'll take signal, apply those curves. And in a second one, we're looking on a curves right here, you'll see how we can do by manually. So we can, again, smoothing those filters, just take a C curve and kind of smooth them. Um, high variety, low pass filters. So which effect on the lower kind of um, values. Okay, this effect will go higher. And of course, intensity, it's uh, how many numbers of times of the variation can be performed. So currently we have it performed like Galaxy only one. We can say do this twice, three times. So we can increase how many times intensity of this filter, how many times the filter going over. So it's like almost looping around this. Okay, so it says about, um, okay, we can preview right here, the curves, we already look on terrace, so let's look curves. And what curves curves does, it's create for us line, we can draw how it will affect it. And uh, again, let's go connect it. And remember like in simple, simple transformation, we have them right here. So right here, we actually can create those curves and see how they work. So like Galatians right here, it's the curve how it look. So we can look on also the canon, let's go other ones. And instead looking, you can always take it and create your own, just draw whatever weird you want it. The one thing you only can draw forward, up and down, so you can create very weird right here type of the um, curve. So again, we can take and just, you know, bring a little bit up. Again, this is lower point, the highest point. We cannot create overhang, so when we bring up, it's just bring a little bit all almost to the normal linear look. So we can apply the string of this curve, kind of. Okay, next we have a draw mode. We can also apply and smooth this curve by pressing several times so it avoids some effect. Uh, currently, it's enabled after smoothing. You can uncheck if you want to create kind of very jaggy type with small effects. So right here, for example, I created. Okay, with after smoothing, it when you draw, it will remove some of this small jagginess. Like I said before, you can always just go back, click a few times, and make it smoother this way. Okay, also notice we have right here bake. And bake will be only affecting if we have a curve string. So, for example, I adjust this curve string, and uh, now I want this blue curve, which is string, be my main. So, if I click bake, you'll notice now it's uh, take this shape of this. So now, if I modify it, I'll modify it in whatever bake was before. So again, if I want to increase again, smooth, and I want to take this one as main bake. So let's apply it to this curve as well. So let's click OK. And we'll use it curves quite a bit when creating. For example, curves is one of the best to use when you're creating like craters or some other ones. So you can affect height and lows depend um, on your terrain. So this is kind of nice ones. Okay, next we have a simple displacement. So what it does, it's take pixels vertically and kind of smear them or push them in a horizontal ways. But notice right here we have this exclamation mark. Some of the filters or effect will have this and it's meaning this is won't kind of apply it in a global. So when you work with this be careful if you have a tiling uh, terrains because that may affect it. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead, primary input. So whatever terrain we want to use it. But now we need a distortion amount of the high field. So in this case, let's go ahead, generator. And I'm going to actually, you know what, let's use it, radial, connecting, and we will open. So right here we have it, no string and directional moving. So right now, let's increase and you can see how it start centering and going around based on our height. Okay, we can modify directions. We want to go this distortion going. We also can have this centered. So you notice how it was going around center. Or we can just apply it and go in direction and kind of twist it around. Okay, what is useful for beside add additional distortion to a scenery? Now, if you have a terrain and you have another object maybe collide inside this terrain, currently, for example, if I make terrain and I want a spaceship fall down or meteor maybe fall down on this terrain and create distortions in my terrain, I probably it's what I will go use it. I'll create this, I create effect right here, and you can see how it is applied. So I have a direction from this direction, something fall down and I just move my terrain. This, Of course, you need to modify string, how much you want effect of this, but overall, we also can mirror edges or repeat it. So it depends when you're going, if you have it more than one. Okay, and a center it will go around the center or it will push just in one way. I would say it is interesting effect that you won't use probably every time, but it's provide additional distortions. Again, this is based on just a radial guardian. You can use it um, even different one and I in this case. And you can also apply example this effect. But look right here on the edges, you see how it's effect edges this time. So when you have a tiling, you will have a problem. And this is what kind of let us know this exclamation mark that you may have some problems there. 